I have a practice in Sydney and I see children with illnesses. So in Australia, a pediatrician doesn't see children who just have a cough or cold or for prevention, but more for chronic problems. So I see a lot of children with ADHD, with autism, behavior problems, developmental problems, autoimmune diseases like celiac or diabetes and allergies. So it's, it's very different from here in Europe where a pediatrician really follows children from birth till they're 18 through their good health and bad health. I only see them when they're sick. And I use nutrition mainly in my, in my practice. So I'm what we call functional medicine doctor. When I see a child, for example, let's say with ADHD, I don't just give them a drug and say, oh, you know, you, you have a Ritalin deficiency, you need that. I look for the causes why the child may have problems with focus and attention and hyperactivity. So sometimes it's a deficiency, like iron deficiency very commonly can make kids irritable and hyperactive and they don't sleep well and then they can't concentrate well the next day. Also omega-3, low omega-3 definitely interferes with learning and attention and sometimes it is toxins that the child is ingesting. So for example, kids who have lead poisoning, you know, from maybe from old paint or from some toys that are painted with lead, they have all the symptoms of ADHD. Or children who eat a lot of fish and have high levels of mercury can also be very hyperactive and really struggle to concentrate. And then even just additives in food, the E numbers, you know, like the 102, the orange color, the 202, the preservative, there many, many studies out that show that these can affect children's behavior, attention and focus. And so I look like a detective through their diet and see what may they be lacking, what may they be not so good in their diet for them, then help the family to improve their nutritional status and maybe do some blood tests, maybe give some supplements. But the basis really is a whole foods diet. I don't really push people to be plant-based. I always push them to eat more plants. That's really the thing. I mean, the recommendation of five servings of vegetables a day, I, I push that because I think if kids start eating more vegetables, they really get a lot more antioxidants, more fiber, more vitamins, more minerals. It is beneficial and everybody agrees on that. And veganism in Australia is not very big, so I, I don't push that. I have a lot of patients, teenagers who come who want to be vegan and don't quite know how to do it well. And then they come either with their parents or without to find out what they need to do to be a healthy vegan. And I love that when they come, but I, I don't usually just, you know, push a vegan diet because people come, you know, with very ill children and they just want, you know, their child to get well. And of course, a plant-based whole foods diet is a good idea, but it's not like with adults who have a heart attack, you know, where you know that's the way to go. Um, with children, it's, it's a bit more complicated and they have really um, intense nutritional needs when they're unwell. I want to meet those first. And then usually people ask me and say, well, how do you eat? And I give them lots of ideas of um, meal ideas that are plant-based. You know, I say eat, for example, I don't know, a stir fry with some protein and the protein could be either tofu or some meat if you choose that, you know, and then they, it opens their minds.